Chuck. Yes? I'm gonna spend 10 minutes on one of the most important concepts in all of civilization. Oh my God, we're finally <laughs> gonna have the sex talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. No. Yes. <laughs> um, surface area. Okay. No, nobody ever thinks about it. No, you know, there's a reason. <laughs> no, because there would be a reason. It's, it influences everything. Everything. Um, I, I, no. Okay. I, no. Everything. I'm not feeling it. I'm okay. not feeling this. You know, why aren't you? You're not feeling it. I'm not feeling surface area as like sexy science. Okay. I want right. to talk let's, about. Let's talk about gloves versus mittens. Okay. All right. Which is warmer? A uh, mittens because my hands are mittens because there's less surface area to radiate into space. Really? Yes. If you put your fingers in separate things, that right. increases well, well, surface well, area well. to radiate. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. That's why mittens are warmer than gloves. Yeah, but you you, you lose them both at the same rate <laughs> unless they're clipped to your sleeve. And quite frankly, or, or you I'm get too one old. in one in right. each sleeve. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm too old for that. You do that with mittens, not yeah, with regular gloves. Exactly. Life. So so <laughs> when we speak of gloves being warm or right. a blanket being warm, right. it's the blanket is the same temperature as the air. What's actually happening is you want something that prevents your heat from escaping. From escaping, right. Okay? So you put on, quote, a warm glove. If it's a mitten, you will radiate heat from one part of your skin to the to other the, part of right. your skin. And so you're not losing it. Right. The only part that can radiate is the outer surface to the glove and the glove to what's outside of that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Except that is that less surface area than a full-up five-finger glove. Except, uh, unfortunately, with mittens, you have to do this if you ever want to do anything with these. You got to take it off. That's the only problem. I'm talking about surface. Oh, that's right. I'm not I talking forgot. About oh, oh, <laughs> I thought you, we were talking about what, who, what was oh, better, gloves me. or mittens. You got mittens in the snow, and you, oh, I got I to gotta type something? Yeah. Is this your, your is this what you're, Well, no, I, even making a snowball sucks with mittens. Let's but anyway, keep going Let's here. keep going surface area. Let's keep going. All right, so you got me on the mittens and the gloves. What else is, what, okay. Okay. Go ahead. You want more? More. Okay. That makes me, that that because you said this is the most significant thing in science. <laughs> and so far we got gloves and mittens. All right. We oh, got, oh, you want more? I need more. Okay. Uh, how do you make a pizza cool faster? Oh, that's a good question. Everybody knows. You cut it. Cut it. Right. Okay. When you cut it. I was going to say you blow on it, but then again, you people do that get too. mad at me when I do that. Okay. So you, you cut it. So what you've done is pizza as one big flat sheet, you cut it, you are exposing surface area that it didn't previously have and to the cooler air and for it to radiate escaping. to the air. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what I'm saying. Well, we're getting better now because right. we're talking about pizza. What happens when you are cold? Mm -hmm. I don't under the covers, I don't care where you are. Do you spread out like this, increasing your surface area? That's so funny. When you said you are cold, I instinctively you went did like that. this. What you did was you reduced the surface area of you in ex exposure to the air around you. Mm. You reduce the surface area. Okay. And that's what birds do. If you look at pigeons, uh, your hometown might have a different uh, uh, fauna. Right. But <laughs> pigeons, watch them when it's cold out. They sit there and they puff up in a big spherical yeah. ball. Yes, they do. And so this is, now, if it's hot and you want to cool down, what, is, what does your cat do at home? Yes. Right. Increase the surface area to increase the radi your ability to radiate out into space. I just thought my cat was a pervert. <laughs> like, bro, they do put expose it, themselves. Put it away. And seriously, <laughs> do you have to lick it in front of me? I mean, come on. But go ahead. All right. But wait, there's more. All right. Uh, why is a why are there hundred kinds of pastas? Um, oh, they wait. they each have different surface areas. That's well, but, but I thought that was to hold on to sauce. Of course. The sauce attaches to surface area. Oh, so in this Duh. in this scenario, the sauce is the heat. So the well, sauce oh, oh, is well, being held on by the well, well. So yeah, it's it's whatever it is you want to communicate with. Right. You increase the surface area, and that's what and you're that's, doing. And that's what you're doing. Okay. All right. So okay. I, 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 I'm not done. All right. Okay, okay. Have you seen the surface of your tongue? Is it completely smooth? Not at all. No. Right. It's got texture. However, it was smooth for at one point. I licked an iron. And yeah, that'll just flatten that yeah, straight Yeah, that was out. it. Yep. Boy, it you know. okay. <laughs> but uh, listen, it, it, good thing. When, when you want flavor back. molecules to get in, you want to have the textures and the So surface. the more textured your tongue, the more taste you probably Correct. have. Correct. Correct. Okay. So surface area is a part of everything. It is everything. Okay. 
everything. All right. And so if you want pasta to have the most sauce stuck to it, get the pasta that has the most surface area for the amount of volume the pasta represents. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, there you go. I'm no longer eating spaghetti. I'm that's boring now. Now there's a l- <laughs> so you get uh, like the fusilli, which has a lot of twists and turns. Exactly. That that that'll that'll do it. Isn't and make, you know what? We should actually do that exp- We should do the experiment one day. What's that? The, the pasta experiment. We'll do that. We'll do a special star talk. Which one has the most surface area to yeah, hold one, on or, the sauce, or which one tastes best? <laughs> oh, right on. Because it's holding all the sauce. Gotcha. There you go. That's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Just got to let you know, I'm (laughs) (laughs) gluten-free. So, uh, I got one for you. Before they lay down asphalt again, what do they do to the road below it? They rip it up. Not rip it up, but they bump it up. They bump it up. They bump it up. They make it really, really bumpy. It's real rough. They score it so that when they put the asphalt on it, there's more surface area to grab on. To connect. Nice. Got you. That's what that's about. Okay. All right. It's all about surface area. Surface area is everywhere. I'm warming up. To surface area. <laughs> so, Chuck, what matters is not only surface area, but the surface area relative to the volume that it's enclosing. Okay. Okay? That's really what matters here. Because usually something in that volume is trying to get out. Mm-hmm. All right? And so, uh, so for example, if I have a, like a, a, a cube, you, there's a surface area. It's got six sides. Exactly. If I cut it in half... Do two more yeah. sides. It's the same cube, right? But now I've exposed two extra sides to it, right? If I cut it again. Do it again, okay? Now watch. If did you freeze butter? Not anymore. Some people do. No, yeah, I don't. Okay. If you take take butter out of the freezer, my mom used to freeze butter because she bakes. Do you know how to bring it to room temperature practically instantly? I'm going to say microwave oven. <laughs> But Sorry, I'm, I'm old school here. <laughs> I'm old school. Grandma, how grandma would have done it? No. You take the frozen stick of butter and you grate it. Oh. Uh, you can grate it because it's solid and rigid, but what have you done to the surface area? You've of created the, more surfaces and, exposed to the atmosphere and, and to not, radiate, to okay, absorb okay, the heat. Absorb the heat. Dude, that, now you're finally getting me with this damn surface area. It's very, I, I'm, mm. oh my God, I just thought of it myself. What? I love scotch. And I don't like putting ice in my scotch because you don't want to water down very good scotch when you're drinking it. So they make these big balls the of bigger ice. ice cubes. And the reason the big, is... It reduces the surface area, there you go. yet it'll still but make it, it cold. It cold. Bro, I'm a fan of surface area. I can't <laughs> believe it. You got me. Look, I, and I, all I, it took was scotch. Was scotch. <laughs> 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 well, I got one more. If your only job is to stockpile sunlight into chemical energy, then the only thing you'd care about is surface area facing the sun. Right. So now, who in this world has perfected that? Plants. Trees. 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 Oh, and uh, tropical plants, like the giant leaf. Okay, get the leaf. Now, 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 how thick is the leaf? Not very Not very thick. thick at all. Yes. Very wide, uh, very, not so thick. Not so thick. That's a very high surface area relative to the volume of the leaf. It is a maximum sun-eating machine. Nice. It is all about the surface area. Take that sunlight. Okay, now wait a minute. I eat you for breakfast. Now, in the rainforest, Go ahead. there's no shortage of water. But where there is a shortage of water and there's no shortage of sunlight, you don't want high surface area because you'll evaporate the, the, water out of your surface area. So desert plants. Dense. Chunky. Thick, little round. chunky. You ever see, see desert cacti? Mm-hmm. They're chunky and right. round. Walking around. What, what, right. they, what they have done is reduce the surface area relative to their volume. They're the Danny DeVito of plants. <laughs> yes. I get it. <laughs> Now, anytime I see damage, I would think of surface area to volume ratio. I'm a cactus. <laughs> so, Chuck, you good with surface area? I am definitely good with surface area. Boom. Thank you. That was uh, Neil and Chuck just chewing fat on some of the physics that thrives around us, whether or not you knew it. That's right. On the surface of my tongue. <laughs> All right. Star talk. Keep looking up.